One of the biggest challenges when filming at the beach is that you want to be able to get as close to water as possible without getting into the water. That's where Diker Pack has designed the waterproof casing for your DSLR or mirrorless camera. the quality of your work whether you have an a6000 or the a7 series uh, or even a Canon DSLR dare I say it but uh, this is the thing there have been many situations where I have filmed surfing commercials beach shoots waterfalls all that kind of cool stuff when there's water and I haven't been able to get into the water well because my cameras aren't fully waterproof especially the uh, the FX6 but um, unless you have action cameras you know you're all sweet but uh, I've heard some horror stories of people having things like this, and uh, is this thing any good? Let's get it. What's going on my friends? My name is Jason and uh, yeah, today we are here for uh, this thing right here. But first, just like to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to my channel. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna be talking about the Diker Pack waterproof case. This is the version WPS10. Now this suits larger DSLRs or mirrorless cameras and it has an IPX8 water rating which allows full immersion of water up to five meters of depth. Now this can be incredibly useful for content creators who actually wanna level up their game near water. Now I do wanna show you what kind of cameras you can actually fit in here so you can gauge whether this might actually be a good purchase for you or not. Now I've heard from some people hearing about some horror stories of uh, camera cases like this. And you know, personally, I haven't heard anything or had any issues with uh, this particular case right here. In fact, I fully submerged this case in water for over an hour and I had zero problems with water. Now it's also been in heavy beach conditions where I actually had crazy big waves crashing, it wasn't crazy big waves, but I had waves crashing over me and smashing into this and it's worked a treat and had zero problems. Uh, I even stuffed some toilet paper in this thing and placed it into my bathtub and uh, if I would notice any leakage, safe to say it was a complete success. Mind you, I didn't even test this before I put my a7 III and the Tamron uh, 70 to 180 lens combo in there. I decided to just trust it straight off the bat uh, with my recent commercial shoot uh, with Ben who's a paddleboarder. And I really wanted to get into the water and I knew the FX6 wasn't gonna do me any justice. So I had to buy with this thing, put my a 73 in there and holy moly, I knew I would end up with some incredible footage. And uh, I just knew that to get better visuals, I needed to get into the water which was fantastic. The one downside I did have, and that was actually just my screen, wasn't powerful enough, couldn't really see the back of the screen, so I actually had to use the EVF and compose my shots like that. Now, one major thing uh, before I got into the water and that I do recommend you do is dial in your settings before you put it into the case because when you got it in the case, it is super duper difficult. I was, uh, the sun was just starting to pop up because it was sunrise. I really need to get into the water quick and I didn't want to have to waste any time and dial in my settings while I was out there. I just wanted to dial in the settings straight away, put it into the case, get out there and start shooting. I literally pressed record and recorded the whole thing just so I wouldn't have to miss anything. Now the great thing is, is they do have little stitch out compartments here where you can actually press the buttons, dial in your settings, whatever. And they actually have one on the lens here for lens zoom or focus, whatever you want with that as well. Before we get into the testing uh, with you know different cameras in this thing, I'd just like to remind you guys to like this video if you're finding this interesting and subscribe to my channel if you're liking this kind of content and you want more of this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting me so far in my YouTube journey. Anyway, back into it. So these things uh, works with a series of Velcro straps 
and zip locking as well. So you need to put the camera in, zip lock the top, roll the first part over, Velcro strap it, then you roll the next part over and Velcro strap that. And then you've just gotta make sure that it is completely airtight. Now, when you actually have it airtight, that you know it's gonna be watertight. Uh, they have also included a lanyard that you can actually place around your neck in case you're starting to float away. So it's right around your neck, makes it a lot easier to keep it with you. Just wanna quickly jump in. If you've heard of any horror stories, yeah, let us know below if you've uh, heard of anything like this with these kind of cases, with the darker pack cases. I'd really, really like to know your experience or anyone else's experience below in the comments. Let's get back into the video. Now, getting in the water will allow you to get closer to uh, the subject and really let the audience sort of sink in and uh, be with your subject, which you know, it just gives a whole different experience watching it from that point of view, as opposed to sitting on the beach or sitting on rocks and just getting nice and far. Even with the drone shots, it's kind of cool, but it's still not as immersive as being there right in the water with the subject. So I am really happy with the performance of this thing and I do recommend it. Uh, let's get into what we can actually put into this case. So it is safe to say that, you know, the a7 III and the Tamron 70-180 fits in there real easy. The Tamron lens is actually a very, very big lens. It does zoom right out or stays at 70. It all depends on what you actually wanna do. But when I put it in the case, 70 unfortunately is the longest I could go. I could probably get it up to maybe 100. That's about it. But uh, if you do wanna put anything smaller than that, like shorter, you've got the uh, 90 mil lens or 85 mil lens. You can do the 135 G Master lens. You can put the A7S3 in there. You could put the FX3 in there. You can even fit your A6000, A6400 with a full cage. Um, you can have the 17 to 70 APS-C lens in there because it's very similar to 28 to 75 lens. Uh, what other setups you would have? You'd, you could put a cinema lens in there if you really wanted to. It's up to you. The one thing it didn't fit was the Canon C70. Now, Andrew tried to put his Canon C70 in there. It, technically, it fits. But to get it in the top, that's what is very difficult because the Canon C70 is actually quite high. Technically, you could put the lens in first and then put the body in and attach it together. Yeah, it's a little bit dodgy. You probably don't want to be doing that. So, uh, I mean, if you've got some uh, fearless mindset to you, go for it. It's all you. Don't recommend it. It's up to you. But... It can fit, but uh, higher DSLRs, you know, like your, your Canons or your Nikons that are quite high, it could still fit them as well, which, you know, is really, really handy. I think they do have a smaller version as well, which you can actually put your APS-C cameras in there. But hey, why not get the bigger version? Yeah, there's a little bit of wiggle room. You can kit it out, block it out, make sure it's, you know, the camera's all snug in there with some toilet paper if you really wanted to. Um, or, you know, you just hold this part here because this part is actually quite soft, which makes it a lot easier to sort of handle the whole rig. Up to you how you actually wanna do it. I do recommend using this uh, in water. It's perfectly fine. Like I said, maybe diving. I don't know, I haven't tested it diving, fully submerging it for in, in salt water. Don't know, I've never, I don't dive. So, <laughs> you know, that's one thing I can't recommend, but uh, those kind of shallow water shots, perfectly fine, waterfalls, whatever, raining days, this is really cool. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, comment below if you've used the, one of these, if you've experienced anything like this before, uh, any horror stories, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. All right, let's get it.